And the winner is... I wonder mm. who it is. Oh my god. Hi, and welcome back to that figure skating show. And we have a red carpet special for you. This is, this is our red carpet special. <laughs> I am on the red carpet here. If you could only see down below. Actually, there is like a little red carpet here in this studio that I'm hmm. in. Yes, we do have awards to give out. And these are the moments we found worthy for our honors. Our first award is for the best risk and payoff. And it goes to Maddie Chalk and Evan Bates for their Alien Free Dance. Oh. Yes, yes, it is interstellar yes. love. That's my man, I'ma stick beside him. Uh, he's an astronaut, I'm an alien, I'ma stick beside him. But, uh, so this is a, a big risk because in Olympic season and figure skating, unfortunately, we go back to the same tropes. Romeo and Juliet reemerge and come from the death just to die again. And then we get Carmen's, we get Bolero's. But here we have Madison Chalk and Evan Bates just pushing it with their Daft Punk alien love story themed free dance. And I'm loving it. And another reason they get this award is because they changed their rhythm dance last minute before the season and got their highest career rhythm dance score at NHK. So obviously that risk paid off as well. Our next award is for Best Rookie. And the winner is... Well, I wonder mm. who it is. Oh, my God. Mm. It's Camilla Valieva, the girl who has all the world records, beat her own world record within four weeks. She also wins the Camilla Award. She Camilla. gets two awards. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Congratulations to you. Congratulations. We are blessed to be in your presence. <laughs> Moving on. Not much to say about that one. Pretty cut and dry. The biggest surprise award. This one goes out to two skaters who made a surprise comeback and joined forces. Vanessa James and Eric Radford, both extremely accomplished skaters, both out of competition for quite a while. Eric publicly retired. And uh, they joined forces and decided to make a comeback representing Canada going for the Olympic team. And so far, they're doing pretty well. Can't say anyone saw that coming a year ago. Absolutely not. We literally had, uh, would you rather? And we asked him about, uh, would you want to do a free program? And he said he'd rather run outside in the cold and bare feet. So we didn't see this coming at all. No, no. <laughs> He changed his mind. I guess he went outside in bare feet by accident. He was like, you know what? I you need know, to do a long. I lied. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> right to our faces. The next award is for mm. best revival of a classic. And the mm. winner is mm. Shoma Uno for his Bolero free program. Sholero. Mm. Um, Sholero. Yeah. Show it to me. It's very interesting because uh, obviously we have Camilla Valieva skating to the classic Bolero, which can be tiresome, at least to me anyways. And here we have Shoma uh, having a little bit of more of a, I, for lack of a better term, a jazzier mm. Bolero. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Looks good on him. I like it. We're not bored by like just the slowly pounding of drums and slow building. The Some woodland fairy <laughs> dancing around with a flute. <laughs> <laughs> and that good job, is... Shoma. <laughs> good job. Thank you so much for changing it up. The next one, the next award, the best outfit goes to Piper Gillis and Paul Borier for the rhythm dance. It is so orange and so tight. <laughs> And literally, those are our two uh, factors for deciding on the best costume. Orange and toitness. And, and they win on both. It's our criteria. We set the rules and they mm. win. <laughs> Thanks for knowing what the criteria would be ahead of time. <laughs> Thank you to appealing to our senses and sensibilities. Thank you right, right, right. so much. 
Our award for the biggest upset goes to Vincent Zoe for defeating Nathan Chen at Skate America in Las Vegas. We thought yeah. he was unbeatable, or has been unbeatable for a while. And um, mm -hmm. ice is mm -hmm. slippery. Listen, crazy things happen in Vegas. Crazy things happen in Vegas. But this one didn't stay in Vegas. We all saw it. <laughs> Congratulations, Vincent, on not only toppling a giant, but winning our award, more importantly. <laughs> and last, but absolutely not least, a crowd favorite, the best kiss and cry moment. This one has to go to Riku and Ryuchi. Autumn Classic leaning in to read their scores, like right up against the camera. And then also NHK Trophy when she made a mistake and they wanted 208. And then they got 209.42 and she cried. And their excitement. It's just been beautiful to watch them on the Kiss and Cry at every event this season. They're just so happy. So happy. And they make you happy and want to go skate with them or hug them and just cheer with them. They're, they're the best. Oh, do we have something to mail out to these people? No. <laughs> no? Okay. No. They we have can just to tell watch them this it's receive. in the mail. It's in the mail. Keep it's checking. In the, no, it's in, the, it's in the video. It's positive vibes. You're welcome. Don't oh, watch yeah. it. You don't get your award. Yeah. They, like, they, can, they can do a little Photoshop y ting right here. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. 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 Wonderful. We did it. Those are the awards for the 2021 uh, year and Grand Prix season. Stay tuned for more exciting stuff. Hey guys, it's Asher and Dylan from That Figure Skating Show. And if you like this video, and don't lie, we know you did, there's actually more where that came from. So subscribe to CBC Sports and click it. Click, click, click it real good. good. Da, na, na, uh, uh, uh.